Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics and I'm showing how you can change some sound settings around while you are making a screencast with FFmpeg. Right now you can hear the microphone going and you can see the meter right here. I've got pulse audio volume control and this is showing what's being recorded and I am recording by means of a Logitech USB headset that has both earphones and a microphone. And down here is a video and I'm going to run it. And although I can hear the video being played, I can hear it in my earphones, I do not think you can hear it. If I turn it up way loud, it gets extremely uncomfortable for me, but you cannot hear it. And the reason you cannot hear it is that the recording tab right here says Logitech USB headset. However, if I change it to monitor of Logitech, you'll be able to hear the video. But when I do that, you can't hear me. It's an either or kind of a switch. I'm now going to show how you can route both through the system and it's very complicated so bear with me. There is uh, three lines of text that you've got to enter into the terminal that creates a thing called a loopback. In fact two loopbacks and I've got the text right here in this text file. It's a gedit file and when I tap on it, it's going to say, do you want to run this in the terminal? Well, not yet. First, I'm going to look at it. And the way that I get it to make this alternate selection of either run it in the terminal or look at it is when I create the text file, I go to Properties, and then I go to Permissions and I put a check mark in right here where it says allow executing this text file as a program. If that check mark is not there, then when you tap on a text file, it just opens up as a text file. It, it will not open up as anything other than a text file. And here's what it looks like. So let's take a peek. There are three lines of text Pulse Audio Command, Load Module, Module Null Sync. And then the second and third lines are identical. You have to do it twice. Pulse Audio Command, Load Module, Module Loopback. And as I say, you got to do it twice. Well, I'm going to close this now and I'm going to run this as a command. So let me open up properties and go to permissions and I'm going to change this to allow executing this file as a program. Close. And now I'm going to run it. Now I hear a horrible echo and can hardly speak. Now, I think it's working again. This is so extremely complicated though.
I'm going to set everything so that I, I hope that, that you will be able to continue to hear me. Well, I think this is correct. And I think this is correct. Now, I'm going to get the movie going. And we should be able to hear both of them. You should be able to hear the music and the microphone. I've turned the music way up. If you use control H, control H gets rid of all this business at, on the bottom here of VLC. You can also change the sound uh, without anything showing. Uh, on VLC, I'm holding down the control key and going up arrow. There's another thing you can do with Control H. Uh, on my laptop, I hold down the function key that comes with the laptop, you know, that special one. And I'm, I'm going plus on the 10 key and minus on the 10 key. Those are different sound settings. So you can do it both ways. Now, I'm going to silence this movie temporarily and I'm going to show how you can do this permanently. You now have everything the way you want it but after you turn your computer off it's back to the way it was. There is a way where you can add these lines in permanently and every time your computer boots up you've got this and I'm going to open up this file again and here I've got pulse audio command and then these three lines further down I got rid of the term pulse audio command and you're going to put these three lines into this file it's in the ETC file, in Pulse, and the name of the file is default.pa. And we can go look at it as a read only. And I'll show you that. You go to Home. Oh, not Home, sorry. You go to Computer. And then ETC. Put in P for Pulse. And then go to Default PA. And you're going to put those three lines in this file. There is a place you got to put them. And you have to find that. You see all the crosshatch signs. The crosshatch signs are comments and they are ignored. If that bothers you that you can go to highlight mode and go to scripts and I think this one will work. Yes, this turns all of the crosshatch signs into blue. Now we're going to put those three lines in. And we're going to put them in right here. And it's really easy to do except for one thing. It says here, read only. Okay, you can't put them in. So 
the way you have to open this up is to go to a, make a terminal control alt T and then go sudo g edit etc pulse default PA and then when you hit enter you put in your password and there's the file and now it does not say it does not say uh, read only and you can put these three lines in when you put these three lines in then every time you turn on the computer you will have uh, this state and I am going to shut this down and I'm going to shut this down and we're going to turn the movie back on and my name is Pop and I have a whole bunch of YouTube tutorials called Ubuntu Basics and if this was helpful to you I thank you very much. Why is he away?